Hey guys, just a quick video from York Tactical Guy. And I just wanted to show you a new stippling job I did on my Glock 19. Now, I'm calling this the alligator or snake skin starburst. So a lot of you have seen the starburst pattern. Pattern starts from the back of the weapon and starbursts out all the way around. And you can see that as it comes from the back here, it goes down or it goes out like this. And it does it on the other side also, I'll show you. And looks really cool. So you start back here and you work your way all the way around until you get to the trigger. So you start down here and then you go up. And what I did is I started with like about 10 lines going out and then I filled those in and then I came back and, and just keep filling in and filling in and filling in until it's all done. And I go backwards from the outside all the way in. That way the, the point on this stays pure so you're not dabbing it with something else. You can see the point on there. So yeah, you just psh, 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 like that all the way in and keep going. This one takes quite a long time, but it looks amazing when it's done. So I did all the way around, finger grips everywhere. I actually did a double cut um, on the uh, guard, just like they do for the salient arms. This is a double undercut, so I undercut the trigger, as you can see there, and then I undercut uh, the trigger guard. And so you can get a really high purchase under there. And this is a Glock 19. So now I can get way up inside there. I also, because it's a Gen 3, cut out a little relief near the triggers or the uh, magazine release. So when I get my finger there, there's a little area to push in right here. And if I can get it, so you can see it better there. Let me see if I can adjust my camera angle, sorry. Yeah, right in there, you can see there's a little divot almost, so you kind of grind that out. And it allows me with my finger to push in there better rather than have it be flat. And then I did a little uh, uh, stippling up here on the thumb rest. That way, when I hold on to it with my other hand, oops, I can get my finger on there uh, to kind of hold some pressure down on it. And it works out really good, kind of pushing down on the barrel as you're pushing out and then have that finger pushing down a little bit, control the recoil. So anyway, that's how I did it. It was really cool. I may do a, more videos um, showing how I actually did this. The good thing to do is to practice. So I always took uh, little pieces of Kydex, anything I could find around here. And um, I was trying to see here, I got a couple of pieces right here, I'll show you. Um, and I just practiced. So this is me practicing one pattern of uh, what I call a um, uh, dragon scale. So it's kind of a, like the fish and the uh, lizard scale, but with a little dot on each thing. And then here I did a starburst pattern with just a straight edge, which looks really cool too. But I really just love this. I hadn't seen this anywhere, so what I did is I just kind of looked at the starburst that I've seen, and then I decided I wanted that in kind of an alligator snake skin, and I just started doing it and it came out looking really good so i'm really happy with it and actually this one is going to look very similar to a saline because i got the double undercut the custom stipple job i have uh brazen arms their uh, brazen arms is really good they charge only 50 dollars to coat a um a cerakote uh, slide and 50 dollars to tie nye with the gold coating um on my barrel so that is really cheap a hundred dollars to get that done so i took just a standard uh, Glock 19, which was like 550, spent 100 dollars, 650, and basically I'm getting close to um, a salient. Now, granted, I don't have a match uh, grade barrel, but I did do my own trigger job. I put in the three and a half pound release. I put in the stainless steel uh, pins and the titanium uh, takedown pin, and so um, added the extended uh, uh, slide release. So I'm pretty close, and this thing is. A very very good trigger it's a, about three pounds with the trigger job I did um, polishing the correct spots on your uh, trigger parts can really get your trigger down uh, never tr uh, do the sear but you can polish almost everything else so anyway that's Davis Scott golfer at your tactical guy and um, just showing you a stipple job remember you don't have to spend a lot of money to have a custom looking and custom acting gun you can design it build it, customize it yourself without paying $1,500 or $2,000 to Salient or one of these other guys. 
Now, granted, it won't be quite as good as theirs, but for what we need, I think we're all right. All right, take care, guys.